What's up, homies? Day 23, video number 20. In the Empower Network case study, Jason Cardamone here. And yes, I'm wearing another Eminem slash Rocky hoodie. I love these things. This is actually my favorite piece of clothing in the world. And blue is my favorite color. My mother-in-law got me for this, uh, I think two, one or two Christmases ago. And it's just, this thing is so warm. I love this thing so much. It's super comfortable. Of course, I don't walk around all day like this. It's a Sunday here. I've just been chilling out with my family most day. I actually, I did about four or five hours worth of work. And I just felt like wearing this thing because my son was walking out with the hoodie all day. So I told him I, I told him I'm going to match him. So I threw this thing on. Anyway, crazy random story. Nothing to do with the case study. Here's what's going on with the case study, the Empower Network case study. So, my belief just continues to grow more and more and I, I went through, um, I, I, did, I didn't get any new signups since the last video. I, I did get some money from recurring payments from like a month ago, so, um, Anyway, so some more money has flowed in. I didn't create new money, and that's really my total focus. Two members, two brand new members every single day at the $25 level. Everything from there will take care of itself. I did have a new member coaching call today, and I started to, I, I asked some of the more, the hard questions that I'm typically very leery to ask. And directly around why this this person hadn't upgraded to the hundred dollar inner circle and I, I just asked them you know why and they said you know I just don't have the hundred dollars and I, I really you know in sales I always used to look at this as like you have to be this this like I almost like a cold-hearted like direct in your face kind of person and I I, I actually came out of my heart today saying this because I, I was never the hard closing kind of guy even when I was setting sales records. I was the I, I was the teacher kind of salesperson where I was all there to educate somebody and if it wasn't a right fit for them I wasn't going to sell it to them. And so I, I was still, I told this person I was, I, I just said, you know, I'm not a confrontational kind of person. And I, I just want to know, do you really mean that you can't afford that $100 per month? Because I know what's inside of this product will change your life. And, and I, I'm coming from my heart saying this. And it wasn't where I was saying this out of trying to like make a sale for $100. And it just felt right. Everything I did, I, I didn't do it in a confrontational way. And it just, it, it was really cool coming totally just from heart, but also doing something that was a little uncomfortable for me, which is asking about, are you really serious you don't have this hundred dollars? Or are you using this as an excuse because you're not comfortable or you're, you don't believe the product's really that good? And I, I explained this coming from my heart and they came back and said that I, I really don't, I'm living paycheck to paycheck, even though I make $65,000 a year, I really don't have an extra hundred. And I was like, that's fine, I appreciate your honesty. And I said, so here's our plan, you need their time or money to grow the business, so since you don't have any extra money for advertising, then we're going to have focus on time, so how much time do you have? And we went down that road, and down that route. And we are now, we've created a plan for this person to follow to where we're going to get them to making some money in their business. And, and but I also explained to them how they're going to have to re-roll in profits, not, you know, even though they're living paycheck to paycheck, they can't take, when they make their first hundred dollars from Empower, they can't take that hundred dollars and go pay bills or pay down debt or whatever it is they think they might want to do with that. They need to reinvest in their business and get inner circle the very first thing they do. And it was very interesting about 10 or 15 minutes later in the phone call how 
this question came up and they said, is the inner circle really that good? That instantly told me they could actually find a way to find the hundred if they believed it was, you know, good enough for that. And all I did was tell them what it's done for me over the last 23 days now. Actually, Inner Circle probably started about 20 to 21 days ago. I don't know, you guys can go back and check day one, two, or three, or four. Um, but I've seen what it's done over the last two and a half to three weeks for me. And I'm listening to a couple audios every day now. I went through two more this morning. I also, I finished the comp plan, like I said I would last night. Um, Again, that was my second time going through it, and I plan to do it again. It's it's actually really funny. The video is funny. A video about compensation plans being entertaining, I didn't know that was really that possible before, and I'm sitting there laughing, watching it the second time, just like I did the first time, just like I will the third time. So, anyway, that's where I'm at with the whole business. and. I, I just, what I wanted to do was come, I, I actually considered not doing a video for the first time and I had thoughts on, I need to focus my videos every day towards marketing, not necessarily just documenting a case study. But then I thought about it and I don't want to develop an internal belief that creating a five or 10 minute video is too much time out of a day. So. I, I might change the case study where I'm gonna do a video every couple days, couple a week, whatever, you know, whenever I have, wh whenever I feel the need to, or I might continue it every day like this. But I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to continue to grow my skill set, and I'm gonna do that right now. Right now, and you guys are gonna be a part of that. So, I want you to think about a time in your life when you were ever just, it was a magical time in your life. When you were just in state. When nothing you could do was the wrong choice. When every single decision you made and every choice you made opened up the perfect door and you were unstoppable, you were invincible, and you just felt like it was all meant to be where the colors around you were brighter. You looked, maybe you look outside your door like you did every single day, but that day, things looked better. The colors were brighter. The sun felt a little warmer on your skin. Your feelings, you just felt this invincible, unbelievable drive inside that you knew you could do anything in the world. You, you, as you're looking at your view, the same view you've looked at every single time, you notice sounds that were different. The cars driving by, the sound of the wind blowing through the trees. Maybe it blows over the roof of your home and makes this slight whistling noise that you never noticed before. That was just used to be in the background, but now it's just magnified. Like you're hearing things that have always been there, but now they're just a little bit more magical. And you have this growing feeling inside. And maybe it's the tiniest feeling, maybe it's always been there, but you're starting to notice it more and more. And it's growing. You can feel the power the energy run through your body and it's as if you're connected to the world around you, the people around you, the colors you're seeing, the wildlife you're hearing, everything is magnified like you're magical. As if God himself has a finger on you and you're feeling the tiniest sense of a fraction of how powerful he is. And everything inside of you is telling you, this is the right decision. This is the right time for you. This is the time for you to tell every person who's ever told you your whole life that you can't do it and laugh in their face. You know everything inside of you is telling you, this is the right thing. Nothing's gonna stop you. And all those 
those crazy dreams you used to dream about that you didn't know could come true, but the tiniest thing inside of you did know they could, all of that is now becoming a reality right in front of you. And the things you're seeing, the amazing sounds and power that you hear, the energy flowing through your body and the chills you have and you, you're standing up straight and you just feel more confident because everything in your life is in alignment and you're on that destiny that God always meant you to be on. And if you ever have felt anything like that in your life, I've had that multiplying and growing more and more powerful day by day and everything inside of me tells me right now I am going to not only just change more lives but I'm going to bless my family not just my wife and children my entire extended family and in fact generations of cardamones to come behind me are going to be affected by things I'm doing right now. And I'm not saying that out of ego, like I have to have this picture of this guy in this crazy sweatsuit sitting over the fireplace. I'm not talking about that crap. I'm talking about even if they didn't know my name or anything, maybe it's a great, great, great grandchild and he's being told a story or something one day and maybe the world's in chaos, but yet he's a little better off, a little safer because of something that his great 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 grandfather started doing back in November of 2012. And maybe his life's a little different because his great great grandfather believed in personal development and dug into it every day. And he taught his kids and they taught their kids and it went on and the world is a different place because of decisions that were made back in 2012. And in fact, it wasn't even 2012. These things were all made different by my mentors, my father, my soccer coaches, Tony Robbins, Jim Rohn, Frank Kern, David Wood, all of these great men who've walked before me and made the world a better place. And I'm just a little, I'm just one little piece in this giant game of life that gets to play and have a little effect and pass on these amazing lessons and wisdom from people who all had great intentions to make the world a better place. And I can sit here crying and smiling and just feeling amazing with how blessed I am right now. So I love you guys. Go out there. And if it's been a little too long since you had that feeling we just went through, get out there and get it done. Go find that feeling. And if you can't find it, go down, click a link below this video. Let's lock arms together. Let's go make the world a better place. I'm going to close out the Empower Network case study. Day 23, video 20. To your ultimate success and God bless. This is Jason Cardamone signing off. We'll see you guys tomorrow.